Welcome back to Wang RB channel. Today, let's learn adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. But before we dig deeper into that, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wang RB channel. And if you would like notifications and updates on all of my videos, please click the all notification bell. So if you're ready, let's begin. To start with, let's calculate 2 5th m plus 3 7th m. First thing we have to ensure that they will have the same denominator. Alright, so that's why our first step is to find the LCD. LCD is the least common denominator for both of the fractions. Alright, so the quickest way is to multiply both denominators. 5 times 7 will be 35. That is always true especially when you have like small numbers but if you have big numbers you can have another strategy for it okay so we will use 35 as the LCD for the common denominator and then a quick way also to uh, get the new numerator is that you can multiply the first numerator to the second denominator so 2 times 7 is 14 or we can say 14m because there's an m with a 2. And then we can also multiply the second numerator with the first denominator. So 5 times 3 is 15 or 15m. The, the variable always or usually goes with the numerator. Okay? So you can see now it's something like a butterfly approach. Okay? So 2 times 7 is 14, 5 times 3 is 15. Now you can add. The numerators so 14 plus 15 is 29 or 14 m plus 15 m is 29 m and we just copy the common denominator or the lcd which is 35 Since, um we don't have common factors for 29 and 35 so yeah we cannot simplify that anymore that will be our final answer all right so we have to find the lcd 35 and then multiply the numerator first numerator to the denominator and then write it down multiply the first of uh, first denominator to the second numerator and that is 15 so add the numerators copy the common denominator and that's it don't forget to write of course your variable let's have the second example we have two thirds minus r over 18 so um, steps are the same with adding so we have to find the LCD okay for 3 and 18 and then we can go to the next step soon. so 3 and 18 the quickest way is we have to multiply both the denominators 3 times 18 is 54 yes you're correct so 54 over here 54 here and then it is a subtraction so now we can apply the butterfly approach by multiplying the first numerator and the second denominator, 2 times 18 is 36. And then the second numerator by the first denominator, 3 times r, will give us 3r. So since uh, this is a number and this is a variable, so we just put them together. Alright, so since the is has a variable and 36 do does not have, we cannot right away subtract them. So what we can do is we can factor them. So 36 and 3. So 3 is a factor of 36. So we can just say that we can divide both of them by 3. So putting that out, so 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we can say that 3 is the common factor for 36 and 3. So we've got 3 there. 3 times 12 will give us 36. That's why I've got 12 in there. And then I have minus... And then 3 divided by 3 is just 1, or 3 times 1 is 3. That's why we just have 1 here, but it's not necessary to write 1. It's okay to just write the r in there. So we now have 3 times 12 minus r, all right? And up with the common denominator, which is 54. So, yeah, we can still simplify that. Yeah, we can simplify this, 3 and 54. Okay, if you know cancellation, we just think of a number that if we divide both of those numbers can give us an exact answer. And of course, they are both um, divisible by that number. So 3 can be divided by 3, so that is already 1, and 54 divided by 3 is 18. 
So notice that I have used uh, the same number for both of them. So that's how we do cancellation. So what we have right now is 12 minus R. All right, and then since we have 18 there, we have to have 18 as our final denominator. And this gives us the final answer as 12 R or 12 minus R over 18. Okay, so sometimes you might encounter such problem as this. And yeah, these are some uh, strategies that you could use. Let's have this third example. What if we have 64 over A plus 16 over B? The same thing, we have to find the LCD because they have um, different denominators. A quick way, we just have to multiply the denominators. Okay, so A times B is AB. So AB, and here is AB, and we are adding. And then the second step would be apply the butterfly approach. Six, uh, 64 times B, we are multiplying them, so we've got 64B. Alright? And then A times 16. So that would be 16A. Alright? Now, since they have different uh, variables, B here and A here, we cannot right away add them. Okay, what we can do is factor them, all right? So factor 64 and 16, meaning we have to think of a number that if we divide both of them, we can have an exact answer. And of course, we have to use the same number for both of them, all right? So thinking of 64 and 16, I could think of four, I could think of two, eight, 16, all right? But um, right now we can have the, the greatest, which is 16. So 16 can be divided by 16 exactly, and 64 can be divided by 16 exactly. So if we divide 64 divided by 16, we can have uh, 4, all right? So we can have the 4, and then, now remember, we have to put the 16 there, the common uh, factor for them. So 16, and then times 4 would be 64, that's why we've got 16 there, and then 4 here. And then we just copy the variable, which is B. Adding that with 16 divided by 16 is 1, so it's okay not to write 1. We just write down A, okay? And then, next thing, we have to copy the LCD, which is AB. Now, uh, we can not have anything here to cancel or to simplify more, so I believe that's the final answer. So 16 over, I mean 16 times 4B plus A over AB. That's the final answer. Alright. Let's have this last example and promise this is the easiest one. Alright, so what if we have X over Y plus Y over X? Again, let's just apply the steps that we have learned. We have to find the LCD by multiplying the denominators. Y times X would be XY. So why is it, is it XY instead of YX? So usually in algebra, we also arrange the variables alphabetically. All right, so that's why we can write X over XY. XY here and XY here, and we're adding. So again, the next step, we have to apply the butterfly approach by multiplying this and multiplying this. Okay, so X times X would be x is squared, alright? And y times y is y squared, okay? So, we are now ready to add the numerators, which is the third step. So, since they have different uh, variables, they are unlike terms, we can just copy them, x squared plus y squared. And then, of course, copy the LCD, which is xy. And that's it. That will be our final answer. x squared plus y squared over xy. Is it right? So that's how you do when you are adding or subtracting algebraic fractions. I hope you get that. I hope that you have learned a lot today. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you on my next videos. Bye and God bless.